Hi, and welcome to Enoch Pratt Free Library's Current Events Quiz for Kids. I'm your host, Paula Willey. Every Tuesday at my library, the Southeast Anchor Branch, we make a current events quiz for kids and give a prize to everyone who tries it. Your prize for trying this quiz will be pride in a job well done and the chance to impress people with your news knowledge. We'll have five multiple choice questions, each one with a hint. Listen, there's no such thing as cheating when it comes to being well informed. You can ask a friend, you can pause the video and Google the question, or you can just hang in there till the end when we tell you the answers. Any of those makes you a winner. Let's get to it. First question, United States Department of Labor says that more than blank jobs were lost in April. Was it eight jobs? Was it 50,000 jobs? Was it 4.3 million jobs? Or was it 20.5 million jobs lost in April? Next question. Because of the economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic, nearly one in five children in the United States are currently affected by blank. Are they affected by boredom? Do they have nightmares? Are they affected by food insecurity? Or are they affected by too much homework? See if this picture gives you a hint. Next question. This week, two members of the president's blank tested positive for coronavirus. Was it the president's White House staff? Was it members of his favorite sports team? Was it members of his country club? Or was it a couple people in his party posse? There's your hint. Next, author Stephanie Meyer announced a new book in her vampire romance novel series, Twilight. The previous books are Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. What will the next one be? Will it be Friday Night Lights, Sunrise Bay, High Noon, or Midnight Sun? See what you think. Sports Network ESPN has been showing a wide range of events while Major League Sports have been suspended. Which of these has not been featured? Have they shown cup stacking? Have they shown Korean baseball? How about cherry pit spitting? Or pizza dough throwing? Again, your options are cup stacking, Korean baseball, cherry pit spitting, and the sport known as pizza acrobatics. Which one has not been on ESPN lately? All right, here's your answers. The U.S. Department of Labor says that more than 20.5 million jobs were lost in April. If you guessed big, you guessed right. This graph shows the change in the number of jobs in the United States. The dramatic red line down is April, when the number of jobs dropped by more than 20 million. The United States unemployment rate has gone point from 3.5% in February to almost 15% at the end of April. That means that 15 out of every 100 people who is available to work cannot find a job. You can find more information about employment in the U.S. on the website of the Bureau of Labor Statistics, www.bls.gov. Question two. Because of the economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic, nearly one in five children in the U.S. are currently affected by food insecurity. You might be bored, you might be having nightmares, and you might think you're getting too much homework, but nearly 20% of mothers with young children say their families are not getting enough to eat, according to a survey by the Brookings Institution. And according to the United States Department of Agriculture, this number, had been dropping since 2008. In 2018, the percentage of families that experienced food insecurity was just under 14%, and now it's almost 20%. Learn more about food insecurity on the USDA's website, www.usda.gov. 
Next question, next answer. This week, two members of the president's blank tested positive for coronavirus. That was his White House staff. The two staff members who tested positive included one of President Trump's, Trump's personal valets and Katie Miller, the spokeswoman for Vice President Mike Pence. But others who came into contact with Ms. Miller and the valet are continuing to work at the White House. A valet, by the way, is a servant who takes care of a man's appearance and clothing, and a spokeswoman is the person who makes statements as a representative of someone else. Next answer to the next question. Author Stephanie Meyer announced a new book in her vampire romance novel series, Twilight. After Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, what will the next novel be called? Your choices were Friday Night Lights, which was a great book and a terrific TV show about a high school football team in Texas, but no vampires. Sunrise Bay, which is a made-up soap opera starring television's Moira Rose. Also not correct. High Noon, which was an old Western movie back before color was invented and certainly before sparkly vampires. So if you guessed Midnight Sun, you were correct. Fans of Edward Cullen, the brooding, sparkly vampire hero from Stephanie Meyer's best-selling Twilight series, will have something fresh to bite into this summer. There hasn't been a new book in this series since Breaking Dawn in 2008. Your moms are going to be so into this. Last question, Sports Network ESPN has been showing a wide range of events while Major League Sports have been suspended. Which of these has not been featured? Was it cup stacking? No, ESPN 8 showed the 2007 World Sports Stacking Championships in which players compete to stack their plastic cups the highest and the fastest. Was it Korean baseball? No, ESPN is showing six regular season Korean baseball organization games per week. The Korean teams are playing in empty stadiums with cardboard cutout fans to be on the safe side. The defending champions are the Doosan Bears, who sw swept the Kaiwoom Heroes in last year's Korean series. Is ESPN showing cherry pit spitting? You bet they are. They are 100% showing the Cherry Pit Spitting Championships in which players compete to spit their pits the farthest. And now I have to clean all the spit off my computer screen. Are they showing pizza dough throwing? All right, ESPN is not showing the world championships of what's called pizza acrobatics, but they did last year, so there's still hope. And that's our quiz. We base our quiz on the weekly news quiz for students published by the New York Times. You can find this and lots of other food for thought for kids on their website, www.nytimes.com slash column slash learning dash news dash quiz. Tune in next week for another edition for what happened this week. And thanks for playing.